Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave's enjoying his tasty beverage this morning. Couldn't get the tie off before we came on. That's his new move, so we're enjoying yes, that. Yeah. It's either nasal spray or meat nuggets or taking off the tie or something cliche every morning. Ooh, not cliche. So, it's just it's my thing. That's your thing. Uh, oh, I can smell the brute cologne from here. Ooh. <laughs> no, you know what? I haven't. I was a, a Hugo, a Hugo guy forever. Right. And I haven't been I haven't been using cologne. I've been using this lotion. Ugh. It's kinda like uh like a bronzer kind of a thing. And I just rub that all over my head and face. Cause you gotta keep your <laughs> you know, you understand this as a No, I don't as, as a man with a shaved head, you gotta keep it kind you gotta keep it brown. You can't get let it get all pasty white. Dude, so, I put nothing on me that has anything to do with coloring or lotioning or you know the extent of the. You know, I'll tell you what, the extent of things I rub on myself. <laughs> you want to hear? Easy. What I've got uh, I've, in my on my bad foot, my left foot. You know, my left foot's a mess. Uh-huh. It, between the pinky toe and the third toe, there's yeah. some kind of rot going on called macerated la- athlete's foot, and it genuine it genuinely looks like gangrene. It is the most disgusting, awful thing you've ever seen in your life. That's the only place that gets cream applied on me anywhere. Okay. Period. Hey, I'm, I'm not telling you you should or you should. I'm just telling you how I'm I I'm just saying that men it. don't go around rubbing bronzer on themselves. Some men do. This man does. You know? I, it's, when, what do you want when you go to the, man? When you go to the store to buy that crap, what, what are the other products that you buy just to hide it? I don't, I don't do anything to hide it. Really? I don't, I, I, no. Why would I? You prance it's, right it's through the line with lotion. bronzer. It's, it's a it's a lotion that it's like a tanning. It's kind of like a tanning lotion. That you don't, you don't buy a couple you... of Sports Illustrated's and some beer or something to try and disguise no. what you're buying. No, no, I'll buy some White Rain uh, combination shampoo and uh, soap for a dollar. What do you need shampoo for? It's sh- it's it's soap and shampoo because you still you know you still you still clean yourself. Get a bar of Irish Spring. No, that's all you need. No, that's not all you need. I'm not an I. I know I like nice smelling soaps, and the the first of all the White Rain is great for the bubble baths. It's perfect. Use you dish just soap. The right amount of bubbles. No. What? Dawn dish soap is all or palm what olive. What trailer park do you live at now? Come on, man. Dude. Nothing against trailer parks, but that's not, you know. I mean, if if you got the means, uh, pick up a dollar bottle of White Rain at the at the Dollar General, and well, you'll be fine. <laughs> I spend less on soap than you do. People give I me soap. You that it's a gift to me at this point. People, mm-hmm. wherever I go, I'm lauded with free Irish Spring. That's where I've gotten. Be top that. Uh, okay, you're out buying. Oh God. Hi, I'd like some bronzer, please. What? <laughs> what? And then, and then like... you walk out of the place, and they're all like this. <laughs> stay tan. I'd like to stay somewhat tan. It's you know. It's, it doesn't work. It's hard to do in the. It's hard to do in the in the in the, in the late fall, early winter. <sighs> and I got that bras for a cause thing coming up. I gotta. Yeah. I actually gotta go to the tanner. And oh. I got some more uh, manscaping to do. It's 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 tough being me sometimes. Yeah, I you can don't understand this. <sighs> Jeez. Well, do, do whatever you got to do. And you're still coming out here Saturday night, right? Yes, I can't. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, what? Uh, there we go. See, I got these. These little wristbands. Club seats, my friend. Whoa. Club seats. Look at you. Big time. Am Skippy. Man. Might sell so, the other one. All the people with tickets are beneath you. Because you have risk. No, they're not beneath me. I will uh uh-huh. I will mingle with the unwashed masses, but mm. I will be in my club seat enjoying some uh beverages and food. Can't wait for that. Okay. Or to it. Are you gonna be able to get uh now do we let you into the club level? Are you allowed? I got a or job to do. Are you just throwing I got a job to do, and that's be a man of the people. The, the I'll, I'll be okay. out pressing the flesh. You okay. go into your little exclusive no, club thing there and the, I'll, where I'll, all the I'll, other I'll, people I'll, with bronzer I'll, hang out. I'll go and out and I'll, I'll give the people hey. one of these. I'll be like, hey, you, you do that. Do your royal wave. I love, I love, yeah. Sure you do. 
away, away. Okay. okay. Well, at least I'll be doing I'm what really I do. You, you and I'll tell you what, you pay attention and watch how it gets done Saturday night. I cannot I'm good. wait. I, you got to keep in mind before I get to before I get to the game, I will have already I, I will already be at least two scotches in. Of course. Why and then I think be? I'm going to downshift to the beer when I go to the games because when you're at a hockey game, probably you know I'm might downshift to like Corona or something. We'll see. Okay. Right. I'm typically just a scotch man now, but you know I'll right. uh, a little variety of, will be good for me. I think. All right. You ready? Can I tell? Can I start by talking about what I'm not going to do a news story on? Yeah. I will start with that. I'm not going to talk about uh, Kanye West going to the White House and people flipping out. It's like we've got a 24-7 Trump news cycle that just doesn't stop. I don't care. Nobody really cares. People pretend to care. And then the outrage over the hug. Are you kidding me? I didn't see the hug. Stop. Yeah, he hugs him at the end because, you know, they're buddies. I mean, really, these are like two of the uh, (laughs) – one's a billionaire, one's a multimillionaire. Why would – I mean – they're, they're I saw a little bit of the rant, and I'm like, "That's enough, quick." I mean, he's 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 kind of a crazy person. Made some good points, yeah. Made some good points, but yeah, he's basically a crazy dude. So what? I, Who cares? I, and, and, and I'll Who be honest, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about the music thing that got passed. But if it's if it's good for the music industry, then I'm, then good for Trump. Thank you for signing. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't. I just don't. But my point is, I don't. I don't care. And and the people who say they care are, are lying. They don't really care. People are pretending I will say this. to care about this stuff. I would, I would tend to look down my nose a little bit at that meeting because of the situation in Florida. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a dire situation down there. Um, million plus without power, a couple of cities are destroyed. What, what, what's, what's Trump going to do? Go down and, well, and, and start you're putting, the president. Putting, you're going to support up, these put people. A, put a hat on and a jacket. And go around looking like oh, you at least go down and you go down and assess the damage. We've got enough people. We've got enough people out there doing. We got enough people assessing the damage. It's symbolic. It's, yeah, you I, stand uh, with your people. Good times and bad. I'm not, That's I'm what not, you do. I'm not big on on symbolism and presidents okay. wearing uh, rolling up their sleeves pretending to get to work because they don't really do that. Okay. All right, let's get into it, though. U.S. stock futures turned higher on Friday. Global markets rebounded after a tumultuous two-day downturn. Tech stocks were among the top gainers. The rebound follows another volatile session in the U.S. Thursday that dropped the Dow more than 1,300 points over two days. This is, of course, correction people saw coming. I, You know, it, like I say to people who, who invest, people who aren't me, people who have money, you just ride it out. It's like me at the $10 blackjack tables. Right. Okay. The dealer's not going to keep coming coming at you with uh, with blackjack. You got to you know you got to ride it out. Sure, you get a couple of fourteens and fifteens, and you and you you get a twenty, and the dealer hits twenty one in cage. That's going to happen. Right. Got to ride it out. You right. bet ten on this hand, you lose. You bet eleven on the next hand. It's math, people. Ride it out. Right. We'll be fine. And if you blow through your hundred bucks, one more. Just just you know, get the ATM card out. Get another hundred. Pay the casino fee, and then double your bets. Perfect. And before you know it, you'll be in the black. That's why like you live with your mom at forty-eight. Uh, okay. Once again, forty-six. Whatever. Forty-six years old. Stop. <laughs> I'm telling tales outside of school. Anywho, the Illinois Department of Public Health is investigating nine recent cases of a polio-like illness. Polio. Yikes. It's polio-like. It's polio adjacent. It's not actual polio, but all the cases of the illness called acute flaccid myelitis uh, have been found in patients under the age of 18. Like polio, though, it does affect the nervous system, causing limb weakness, loss of reflexes, eyelid drooping, slurred speech. So, mm. um, it's and it's in northern Illinois, so it's it's close enough to Michigan to make you go meh. I know, I'm not really all that worried, though. So, you shouldn't be. I mean, just, just it's one of those things. Don't be worried. Be aware. I'm not there trying to go. scare Thank anybody. You, Dave. You're probably not going to get this polio-like illness, especially you know. I mean, it only seems to be affecting kids, but you know what I, was I wouldn't worry about your kids getting it either. You know what I was thinking? Okay. When, I was thinking you could use some whisper therapy. You seem tense. I'm just going to ignore you right now because you know how I feel about this. You you, your eyes sane. are starting to twitch, Dave. Is there something wrong with you? No, nah, needed to <laughs> re-wet my contact because I'm just going to ignore you whenever you do that. Oh, can I move on now? Good. Yeah, you? you're, not doing the, you're, not, you're not doing the creepy whisper thing. 
All right, it's Friday night football in Muskegon. Of course, that means lots of great matchups. We got Muskegon Catholic Central and Benton Harbor, Lake City and Kent City, Allendale, Spring Lake. Of course, the game of the year, the one that overshadows everything else. It's a big deal. Mona Shore, 7-0. and Muskegon, 7-0. and I like I like the big reds by a couple of touchdowns in this yeah. one. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's I think Mona Shores and then that's no no slam to Mona Shores. Only losing no. by two touchdowns to the big reds and all that talent is uh is there there's no shame in that. Nope. I think they'll put up a fight. I think in the end though, Muskegon's just got it, there's it's it's always men against boys. This is men against just slightly lesser men. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you got to go. You got to go with the big reds by a couple of couple of touchdowns. This will be their probably their toughest game of the year, though. I, you think so? Including the play, including the playoffs. Well, wow. I firmly believe that because I think they're just they're going to roll right through the playoffs. And uh, but Mona Shores, I think, put up a fight. It's a rivalry game, so a lot of emotion. But the emotion can only carry you so far. So, uh, big reds by uh, by fourteen. There you go. All right. Of course, this Man. weekend a couple of big games in the Big Ten, Michigan State trying to kind of save their season at Penn State. Sparty could be looking at three and three. Michigan, uh, their first real test since the Notre Dame game that they lost, uh, Wisconsin comes calling. And if they can get by that game, they're going to be in pretty good shape. But I, this is this is a Michigan team that's better than last year, but I think they're going to have as many losses. I think they lose this game. They they lose a couple of more. Yeah, and well, you're looking at an 84 season. So. We'll see. Lions are on a bye this week. A Thursday night football was the Eagles hammering the Giants 34-13. That's sports. Hey, and guess what? Uh, what? Last night at Power of the Purse, we we scored a tie between oh, Neyland and I. I was going to ask you. I thought you would. Leave yeah, we. Uh, it, the way it worked out, we got our bidding war going on, and I think we ended up at about uh, $725 a piece for our purses wow. and tickets to the games. So we declared a tie and decided that we'd put okay. a picture together of ourselves together at the okay. event for the next week. So, uh, very, it was. very nice. So nobody won. Well, I, I, right. I guess technically, technically he would have won because at okay. the end, the first pick was the Michigan State purse. But, okay. but financially it was a tie. Okay. And that's all that matters. That's all, all right. that matters. Fun. It it, it 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 it's all about it's all about the cash. It's all That's about all the matters. money for everyone. Sure. Place. Now, yeah. again, remind us what kind of car do you drive? What year, make, model, and color? I'm not so when, I can alert anything. the police when you uh, get to town. Uh, okay, when I get to, first of all, since I will be walking distance to the uh, LC <laughs> Walker Arena there. Oh, so you are staying at the Holiday Inn? Okay, I, I, I'm not telling you where I'm staying. <laughs> Dave Cagley, Holiday Inn, downtown Muskegon, Saturday night. We'll give his room number out later on. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.